Wickershire Project. Well, next here on the Wickershire Project, part two to the Shed War 21 gifts. That's right, we're hand carving everything. I'm excited, you excited? When you talk like this, how can you not be? Gonna start chopping up that wood, get it to size in my wood whittling. It's not so much wood whittling, woodworking, woodworking video. So uh, let's get on with it, shall we? Making the gift for the judges of Shed Wars. They're gonna be having a, a heavy weight put upon them. So I figured, you know, I'll give them a few gifts. I'm not saying, I'm not saying what team did this, but. It might help out a little bit, right, right, right? What we're saying is one hand washes the other, you get it, right? All right, let's chop some wood, shall we? Let's do this. Safety first, Put your glasses on, you don't want anything in the eyeballs. Chickens. Got a first one made. I like that. Yeah, try not to sand that out. That's cool. What's cracking? So I don't want to use this. Decide so much. But this seems to be all right. It might split. It might crack. Who knows? It's three. Let's see if I get a fourth one out of that. All right, so I've got, I got four in case I mess up on one of these. A small problem today while working on this is we don't have a vise, and I could really use a vise. I don't think he has one up here at the wood shop at the moment, so I've got to kind of jerry-rig one together. And I'm thinking wood clamps, maybe just wood clamp this down to the table. What I'm looking for is the natural curve of the wood. See, that would be upside down. Curves over, this would be the top side. So, doesn't matter how I drill in from the bottom or the top, I just gotta be able to do it. Right? Then I get two more wood clamps, a clamp on here and here. Technically, it should hold it. So now I gotta drill through the center of this. So I'm probably gonna need to make a pilot hole first. Uh, this won't go all the way through, but it'll it'll prevent me from sliding all over the place and making a mess out of this. This is a five inch piece, so yeah, two and a half in. That's pretty much dead center. So the first one is going to be a test to see how the wood does as I drill through it. Am I going to split it, crack it? I don't know, but we're going to give it a shot here.
Okay. Ta -da. So on the next part, I've got to shape all these out. I'm not sure how to do it. I could shave them. If I had a lathe to spin this, it would have been a lot easier, right? It's like cheating practically. But um, again, handmade, I'm just going to carve them. They're not going to be perfect, but we'll, we'll get it shaved and, and shaped right for the handle and uh, get to work on that. Set up the sander. Strap down to the table. My safety glasses on. Those are tight. The belt is tight. Should be the switch here on the back. And basically what I want to do is just use it to shape and to round. in there. Cool, huh? So I don't know how this is going to work. I'm either going to destroy it or do it okay. So I'm going to try this first. If not, eh, make another one, right? Hmm, that's not good. So that is for a wedge and that spreads that out keeps the hammer head from coming off
and you thought he was the one doing it. So what are you adding to it now? Linseed oil. And what's that going to do? Protect it. Cool. Except I don't think napkin is going to work very well. I think I need to get a rag. I want one too. Go make me one. <laughs>